guys, it's Kaylee and I'm here with a video that I'm really excited about because it's about Disney and I love Disney as everyone should, really. What kind of side person doesn't like Disney? I came across this list of questions that someone had made for Tumblr, like drop a Disney question in my ask and I thought that was really cool but if I posted that on Tumblr no one would send me asks so instead I just decided to make a video doing it because then you know, I don't need to have friends. I have a camera. It's okay. I'm just going to be answering these questions. Um, I am leaving out some of them because they relate to the parks and I've never been to any of the parks. So I can't answer those ones. I'm just so excited because Disney. So question one, favourite character? Probably Belle. I just, I love her. We're like the same person. I dressed up as her for I'm sure dinner last year. The theme was like Disney World. So um I dressed up as Belle. Favourite villain. I'm gonna go with the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland for the Tim Burton live action one because Helen Von Carter is flawless and can do no wrong and she just did it amazingly. She seems so like diminutive and silly and you kind of wanna brush her off and then you realise that she really is completely evil. And I like characters like that. I like characters that try to trick you into thinking that they're nice, but then they're just, they're more evil than anyone else. Favourite hero? Um... <laughs> um... I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that, um, Olaf is the hero of Frozen, so... Favourite heroine? I'm gonna say Alice, because she's pretty cool. Um, like, how many of you have slain a Jabberwocky? I don't think you have. Yeah, she's pretty cool and she's all like, yay, women's rights, I don't have to wear a corset, which I don't get because I think corsets are amazing, but you know, she doesn't want to wear a corset so she shouldn't have to be forced to wear a corset and I think that's cool and, you know, she kills a Jabberwocky, which is like, really cool. And she tamed that like, crazy big fluffy beast thing by being nice to it. This is a huge deal! Favourite princess? I think I'm going to go for Cinderella on this one, but the Cinderella from the live action one, not the animated one, because she was exceptionally annoying. The new one that Lily James played, she was just so sweet and lovely and I really liked the, that like running theme throughout the movie was have courage and be kind or be kind and have courage, I always forget which way around it goes. I really liked that, that there was this movie where, where like it was so seen as so important to just be nice because I think that we, we've lost that a lot um, and people think that it's okay to be horrible and it's not, you should be nice so I like that there was this beautiful intelligent Disney princess who was also just the loveliest person despite the fact that she's been through hell. Favourite prince? Um, I'm gonna say Prince Charming, well I'm gonna say Kit because Richard Madden he acted the part really well and I I really liked him. I liked that he wanted to follow his heart but he also knew that he had to do the right thing and that he found a way to do both. I think that was really cool. And favorite animal psychic? Sven! Sven, Sven, Sven. Oh, he's so cute and when he's a little baby. I just, I love Sven so much. And you know, reindeers are better than people. Also, um, Mushu, or I think his name's Mushu, the dragon from Mulan. He's just, he's brilliant as well. That movie would not be the same without him. He's just, he's hilarious. Favourite human sidekick? Maybe LeFou? Um, he's quite entertaining. And he initiates the Gaston song, which is a really great part of the movie, so. Yeah, even though he's evil, we'll go with him, because I can't think of anyone else. Oh. I've lost my questions. That's not good. Also, I've just seen something called Ask the Fangirl. I feel like that's a video I need to make. Okay. Favourite princess movie? Beauty and the Beast. Favourite Disney movie ever? Just... Yes. Amazing. Perfect. Otherwise, because I feel like... Like, we have all the old original Disney movies, right? So, like, the Snow Whites, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, that whole era. But then, I feel like the newer Disney movies are sort of in their own category. So, like, Princess and the Frog, Tangled, Frozen, since they've sort of created this new animation style that they're going with, I feel like you can't really compare the two 
So my all-time favourite Disney movie is definitely Beauty and the Beast, but Tangled as a newer movie is definitely a very, very close second. Favourite non-princess movie? Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, I think, and the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland. Sure you're not sensing a theme there. <laughs> I love both of those. But then also like all the Avengers movies because you know Avengers movie the Avengers movies are Disney as well. Um, favorite scene? Um, probably the I see the light scene from Tangled. Sorry, I'm just like adjusting myself because I'm getting pins and needles because I was sitting on my feet. It's just so beautiful and the song and the singing and the way they're staring into each other's eyes and all the feels and just and the lanterns in the sky and Disney, why do you do this to me? Favourite song? I see the light. <laughs> I mean, just... And at last I see the light And it's like the fog is lifted She's singing that to the guy in front of her while there are magical lanterns floating in the sky for her birthday and, and he brought her like halfway across the country I don't know how geography works entangled and he brought her all this way and got a boat so that they could be sitting in the best spot to see the lanterns and watch them and I'm just like how can that how can you how can you not feel all the feels favorite couple I'm literally only using like three movies to answer this but probably Flynn and Rapunzel because I, I like the way their relationship progressed you know they went from like hating each other to mad being madly in love with each other and Okay, yeah, sure, it happened quickly, but it also, I think it happened the way, like, it would naturally happen. It was just sped up a lot. Like, the things that they thought about when they met, I, th I feel like they would still fight about. I feel like they're going to be one of those couples where she'll, like, smack him around the head and be like, what are you doing? You're such an idiot. And, you know, he'll complain about her nagging, and I feel like they would be that couple, and they're going to be absolutely adorable in that way forever. So yeah, them, because they're cute, and also Kit and Cinderella, just, they're also just adorable, and Lily James and Kit Walker are just, I mean, those kids have won the genetic lottery. Let's just be real. Favourite kiss? Probably the Beauty and the Beast one, where, you know, she kisses him, and it's an act, this amazing act of true love, and he loves someone and is loved in return, so he gets to turn back into a man and it's all like amazing and magical and the sparkles and the special sounds and like wind chimes and yeah it's it's a pretty it's a pretty powerful kiss favorite hair this is like the worst question ever every single disney princess has good hair i'm just gonna rattle off a whole long list because i can't choose just one um so ariel because you know long fiery red locks who wouldn't like that merida i feel like I would act I would hate actually having her hair because it would probably be so difficult to maintain and like brushing it would be impossible but it just looks so beautiful. The White Queen from Alice in Wonderland because I'm desperate to go platinum blonde. Alice, Alice also has pretty great hair. Um I just I love like blonde messy curls and Cinderella, the Lily James one. And Rapunzel, Rapunzel also, yeah, um I'm liking the blonde thing. Favourite fairy? Um, really? Cosmo. The fairy from Fairly Odd Parents. That was on Disney Channel, which makes it Disney. Favourite dance? That one at the end of Alice in Wonderland where um, the Mad Hatter like hoists up his trousers and he does the cool dance thing where his feet are just like flying everywhere and it's amazing. Probably that one. I think it's called the Lobster Quadrille. I think that's the Lobster Quadrille. If I had any sort of coordination, I would learn it, but I don't, and I would probably injure myself, but it looks really cool. Favourite sequel? I love The Lion King 3, just because Timon and Pumbaa are so cool. Um, pretty legendary, so I like the fact that it, you you hear their story for once, it's it's great. Favourite outfit? Um, oh, Alice's, Alice's dress, when she's in the Red Queen's castle, and it, she, she looks like she's just stepped off the runway from like a couture show in Paris. It's just... Like, there's just net and pictures and it's beautiful. Favourite wardrobe? Um, I'm gonna say Alice in Wonderland. It's, I mean, Alice's dresses alone are stunning. Plus then you've got the Red Queen who always looks flawless and the White Queen who just also 
goals and Tweedledum and Tweedledee rocking striped shirts like nobody's business so but also Cinderella the new one I thought the costume design for that was amazing as well Ella's dress that she wears to the ball is a work of art and her wedding dress like I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I'm modeling my wedding dress off hers I had I had like a picture in my mind of what I wanted my wedding dress to be and then I saw hers and I was like I'm gonna take all the best parts of that dress and put them onto my dress so yeah just that move was just the wardrobe was just flawless and then also um the stepmother and the stepsisters I mean obviously the stepsisters occasionally looked a bit like garish because bright yellow bright pink but I, th I feel like if the colors have been muted a bit been a bit softer um their wardrobes would have also been stunning so, like I would happily go to a party as one of them so I could wear one of their like bright out there dresses so favorite setting Halloween town I feel like I'd fit right in Halloween town just visually underland because it was just done so phenomenally it's got all like the beauty of the animated one you know like all the flowers and all that sort of stuff um and the queen's palace and the courtyard are really pretty and like pristine and wow but then it's also got that darkness that makes it really interesting so yeah it's gonna be so long i'm only like halfway through favorite disney soundtrack gosh this is a difficult one maybe nightmare before christmas maybe or tangled yeah tangled tangled because tangled has i see the light and the waking up in the morning song 7am waking up and i don't know the rest of the words all the questions about the parks yay favorite piece of disney clothing i don't really have a lot of disney clothing well actually i do i have quite a bit of disney clothing but um because i have a lot of like avengers and star wars shirts um but i actually only have like one sort of typical disney shirt it's got mickey mouse on it that's really cute but my two favorite disney shirts this Captain America tank top because you know as I said the Avengers are now Disney so Captain America tank top and this Star Wars tank top I'm not sure how well you can see but like it has quotes on it from Star Wars it says like dark side Lord Vader Empire new really cool and then all of those words make up Darth Vader's face which I just thought it was super super cool. I feel like I'm getting so like worked up and over excited about this. Favourite piece of Disney merchandise? Uh, this Jack Skellington bobblehead. I'm actually just going to take it out so you can actually see him bobbling. I mean just look at that. Tell me this is not amazing. I really want all of them. You can also get Sally, Oogie Boogie and Lock, Shock and Barrel. Um, so I really want all of them but I just don't know where to get them from. My stepbrother got this for me when he went to America a few years ago. So, it's super cool. If any of you know where I can find more Nightmare Before Christmas bobbleheads online, then please let me know. Jack needs friends. And he needs his girlfriend. A scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience. I'm gonna say the I See the Light scene again, because she's singing the song to him, and he's singing the song to her, and they're watching the lanterns, and it's beautiful, and just can that please happen to me, please. Which world or setting would you want to live in the most? Um, that's tough. Do I want to go somewhere like magical or do I want to just go to France? I think it would be cool to live in the Avengers universe because I'd like to have superheroes around. I think it would be really cool to be in The Princess and the Frog because that whole vibe of like New Orleans and I don't remember when that movie set the 20s or because it just looked like so vibrant and, cool and amazing and like full of life and I really want to go to New Orleans or like Underland just because yes which Disney Pixar character are you most like? Belle um we're both such big bookworms um and a scene or movie that never failed to make you cry or tear up um I don't really cry a lot in movies. Lots of scenes make me sad though. Pretty much any scene from the Avengers that has Captain America in it because all I can think of is the end of his movie where he doesn't get to go on his date. Like really they were so perfect for each other and he, he doesn't get to go on his date and I'm not okay with that. So yeah, it doesn't make me cry, but it does make me feel incredibly, incredibly sad, especially 
that last scene where he like he realizes and it's just, oh it's so sad. I hope you have enjoyed watching this I guess this could be considered like a tag but I'm not going to tag anyone to do it because I don't have any friends on YouTube but if you liked these questions and you feel like doing it then I'll leave a link to the full list of questions in the description because then like if you've been to the Disney theme parks you can answer the rest of the questions and leave a link in the comments because I would love to watch other people's and see other people's answers to this Oh, I'm getting out of breath because I've been talking so much and so quickly. If you don't feel like making an entire video, just leave your answers to the questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions and your favourite Disney characters and favourite Disney movies and things like that. Uh, or just your thoughts on what I've said. And I will see you next time. Bye!